One of the things that really got people fired up was your comments about, you know, the greatest ever, MJ and LeBron and Kareem. And so you don't have to get into the whole thing, but a, but a, a, a Cliff Notes version of that whole firestorm. Which to me still blew my mind. Because if you look at the tweet, like I say, like MJ had the best prime. Like I've never once doubted or like, like said the band wasn't good or so like they, because they came up to me, like I said, he was like, you know, just a, a grocery store clerk or something. But my whole point was, right? Right. It's about how you define GOAT, right? How do you define greatest of all time? If you say like, hey, the single most dominant peak, right, is the greatest of all time, then like, I don't know, are you selecting it by game, by season, by stretch of seasons or whatever it is? And so for me, I always say like, hey, we're looking at the most, con- like the condensed kind of like several years, who was the, like the, the highest peak? And yeah, Jordan, he was a cultural icon. You know, obviously the Jordan shoes are crazy, like 6-0 and in the championships. Like, you know, you, there, there's certain things that you just can't like, even almost fathom, right? Like they're, they're big time, they're huge. Like shout out to MJ in that fashion. But when I think about like a goat or something or the, like if I have to pick and get nailed down to like the greatest career of all time in, in, in any situation, right? I'm going to take it for like the entire time, right? So that means like really true competitive basketball starts in high school. If we look at high school, college, pro, like the stuff Kareem did has not even been remotely close to being matched. You know what I mean? Like he was almost undefeated in high school. He was like 85 and three or 85 and two in college. He won. And, and, and the only reason uh, he didn't win a fourth national championship is because they didn't let freshmen play on the varsity team when he's at UCLA. But they go on record saying, UCLA was the best team in the country you know, his freshman year and the second best team on UCLA's campus. Like they've all, they've all said that, you know what I mean? They changed the dunking rule for him. He won all three national players of the year and three national championships. Um, he's the all time, you know, score in the NBA. He's got like 19 all-star games. He's got, you know, however many scoring, like uh, he, he's got five NBA championships. He's got two or three finals MVPs, something like that. Like if you look at the, it was literally 20 years in the NBA, four years of college, four years of high school it's 30 years of basketball dominance like he where he never was like where it was never a question of can he do this is he any good or like what's going on here let me maybe cut this man and put him on you know jv or or he just needs to improve or some 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 there was never a question for 30 years kareem was if not the best like one of the guys like it was and to have that type of longevity and 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 just dominance is crazy you know but yeah that's how i define goat and that's why i tr- explained on twitter and people still were like no you're <laughs> you're wrong that's and i'm like guys that's how i define greatest of all time if you're arguing about the highest pinnacle then jordan was six and oh and during those championships he was running things like i'm not arguing <laughs> that <laughs>